Good morning, friends, and welcome back to Main Garden Travels. My name is Sarah, in case this is your first time um, viewing my channel. Today is our second uh, storm of the season so far, and even though I live in Maine, it's pretty rare to have um, a significant snowstorm before Thanksgiving, and this is our second round. So I'm kind of enjoying it, but I, at the same time, I'm, I know because I lived in Maine my, almost my entire life that if it starts early like this, it's going to be a very long winter. So um, yeah, anyhow, today um, my girls have a half a day of school because it's um, just before Thanksgiving and so they give them a little bit of an early um, release. And we are the only school system in the area to actually have school today. Everybody else canceled due to the snow. So I've got a few minutes to hang out with my girls. And um, today I'm going to show you what I do in the winter as far as like an indoor type garden because I've already started um, making plans for what I'm going to grow inside and what I'm going to do with my little space that I have. First, we're gonna go let my chickens out. They are not loving this weather. My husband just made them this little area right here off to the side of their actual coop <clears throat> with the hopes that they would climb up there and sit on the hay and enjoy some time out of the snow but they are pretty much preferring to stay in the coop and not come out preferring to sleep in today so I'm back inside guys and I'm going to show you where we're going to create our little garden space um, we have a very small house and um, but I try to create little corners here and there that are um, appealing and pleasing and also bring in a lot of the outside elements. So in decorating this little corner of my um, living room, we're going to focus on Taoism and the um, elements of Taoism which include earth, fire, water, metal, and wood, I believe. And so if, um, bringing an element of each of these into the room is supposed to balance your life and your environment. So I'll show you kind of what we add um, to our little indoor space. I know for me this kind of helps to create different areas in our living room or in our home, um, especially where we live in the Northeast. As you can see, as you saw earlier, there's lots of snow out there. And it's really early for us to have snow, so um, it can become really tough and sort of depressing and we all suffer I think from a little bit of seasonal affective disorder whether people believe it or not and it seems to um, really help to balance life for the winter months so for the fire element we have our little fireplace here Okay, so as far as some plants, we're going to add quite a bit of them because this is going to be my gardening spot for the winter. And I'm going to actually plant some seeds later in the growing season, probably some herbs and things to start. Um, I like basil in the house and rosemary and thyme. Well, I've got thyme still outside under the snow. Um, but a lot of herbs can be grown inside the house. For now though, I'm gonna use some house plants that I have kind of all around the house and I'm going to um, kind of centrally locate them over here in this little corner. Um, so this is a little jade plant. Add that. This, which I think is actually kind of fun, 
is a um, Swiss chard. And my daughter saved it from the garden before, um, before it snowed. And I didn't really know how it would do, but so she just put it in a little mug. There's not even any drainage, except she's got some rocks in the top and rocks in the bottom to help with the drainage. Um, so there's actually a little piece of kale and some Swiss chard in there. Okay, and next I'm gonna add some amaryllis, which I started in their pots about mm, two weeks ago. Um, and this one in my right hand is starting to bloom. Unfortunately, it's looking a little weak, so it needs some water, but they're a nice little addition to the area. And I use my window sills, I use every spot. Um, that I can squeeze in some, some space for plants. This is a little air plant that I got. Um, you can pick them up at Lowe's actually. And it has a little light on the inside and it's kind of cute. It's um, the light behind it's making it. It's filled up with berries and twigs and there's a little air plant on top. If you don't know how to take care of air plants, you just um, this one does, is not going to come out of the container, but if you have a different kind of air plant, you can uh, soak it for two minutes in the water um, once a week, and, or five minutes even, and that should be enough water. With this one, I'm just going to put a little, few little drops on it when I think of it, um, and it should be just fine. It's in the little glass dome. It's pretty cute. All the plants are the earth element to the Taoism theory. Um, and I think that's the part that makes me feel happiest throughout the winter. Winter is having some earth elements in my living space. Um, this is an orange plant. It's a, I believe it's called Calamondin, um, and it produces these little, these adorable little oranges here that are very sour on the outside, or on the inside, and very sweet. Um, I'm not sure if you've ever seen one of these little water fountains. Um, they've been around for a long time, kind of cute. And this is going to be our water element in our little uh, corner garden. Um, it's actually my daughter's, and she's letting me borrow it, but. So basically all you do is plug it in, fill it up with water, and it runs rather nicely. We'll put that over here. This I'll add. It's beautiful and it's, um, we'll add it for color. I've had it for about three years and every year, come Thanksgiving, it's in bloom. Never makes it to Christmas, but usually to um, Thanksgiving. So, So far, so good. You can hear the water kind of drizzling in the background. It's such a nice, uh, peaceful sound. We'll see how long she lets me keep it for. I'm gonna add a few more things and then I'll show you how it, how it looks when it's finished. I put this thing in here and write down the water. Get another water fountain, it's pretty cute. Oh yeah, because that's a very garden. We could use the water fountain in the back there, it'd be nice. It would have to be one of the tall ones. Yeah, like a huge okay, so I have my earth element from the plants, oh, and wow. I have my water element from the water fountain, mm -hmm. and I have my metal element, which I actually have a metal bird cage, no bird in it, um, but I also have a metal sculpture that my daughter made. Just adding some pretty little glass pieces here. I forgot some of my favorite pieces. Let's see, I'll put this over here. This is um some sea glass art that I make. And here's another piece. This is all sea pottery.
right guys, so that's it for our garden space. I'm just going to sit here and have a nice cup of coffee, I think, with my feet next to our little fireplace. One more thing we did add, Rose, our very own Christmas chicken. <laughs> She's been living in the house for about two months now and she is a good girl. Anyhow, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and definitely comment. I like to hear your comments. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.